Are you a 33-year-old scam artist? The Ukrainian orphan at the center of an adoption scandal is speaking exclusively to Dr. Phil. Natalia Grace has been accused by her adoptive parents of pretending to be a child to get adopted by an American family. They believe she's a lot older than she claimed to be. It's not true at all. Michael and Christine Barnett adopted Natalia in 2010. She has a form of dwarfism, and they were told she was six years old. Michael Barnett spoke to Inside Edition's Stephen Fabian about why they became suspicious. She's got a monthly cycle, and she's hiding it. Technically, she is a Ukrainian adoptee. She's never spoken a word of it. She doesn't have a hint of an accent. But Natalia believes the Barnetts are the ones who are lying. They claim that they did bone scans and all that. I don't remember going through a bone scan. I remember going through a bone scan in Michigan. And the bone scan in Michigan said she was 14. I even have paperwork saying that. Michael Barnett also says Natalia tried to kill his wife Christine twice. But another family who also cared for Natalia disputes the claim that she was not a child. Date of birth, 9-4-2003. Mm -hmm. right. According to this, she's 16 she's years 16. old today. Exactly. There are people out there who think she's 30. That's ridiculous. I'd say that's ridiculous. Vincent and Nicole DePaul say they were shocked by the Barnett's allegations and that the Barnett's left Natalia to fend for herself in an Indiana apartment before they moved their family to Canada in 2013. When I heard that, I was shocked. I mean, she looks like a child, she acts like a child. Did you ever think, she might not be a six-year-old, she might be an adult? Never. <laughs> Never. Michael and Christine Barnett say they believe Natalia could fend for herself since she is an adult, but they've been charged with felony neglect of a dependent, to which they have pleaded not guilty. Natalia now lives with another family in Indiana who treat her like a 16-year-old girl. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.